Hello, welcome back to BS with Ben, and today what we're gonna cover again is rivets, but this time they are faster to put on, they're easier, and they are cheaper. So stay tuned and let's get started. Okay, so one of the big things about making these videos is, is that I need to get some traction, I need the views. So if you could share this, there will be links below so that you just click on it and it will share in Facebook or it'll share in Twitter. And if you could just click on one of those links and share it with your cosplay friends, that'd be huge to me. And plenty more of these videos are gonna be coming out. So don't worry about that, but please just share that. Now, what we are going to cover today is something that I sort of covered before on how to make little rivets for cosplay. And what I had done is used a hot glue gun and made these little guys. If you want to see that video, it should be a link right up there. If not, there'll be a link down below. Now, why am I obsessing over the rivets? Well, I like a cosplay that looks good. At the same time, it's got to be easy to build and it's got to be cheap. So. I did some more experimenting and this is what I have come up with. Again, I will leave links to all of this stuff, like where you can buy these little bumpers and things, little tools like a hole punch. So here's the deal is, is that I got some double-sided tape a little while ago. Now this is film double-sided tape. Again, the link will be down below and you can attach it to the back of the EVA foam. What's really cool about this is that you can create or laser cut decals or hand cut it and you're not going to have to worry about working with contact cement or CA glue and gluing yourself to whatever prop that you're making. Pretty simple. You get hole punch. These holes are about a quarter inch and you come in and you just crank some of these little guys out of here with the double sided tape. So I've already made a whole bunch of these and you can see here what I've done is I've got the um, hole punched ones here that are all just adhered down to the, the foam. Now I've got these rubber silicone bumpers. Bring that up fairly close. What's really cool about these is that they're inexpensive, they're domed and they're about the right size. So that is here. And last, I've got this little guy and this little guy here, which are the ones that I've made. When you look at it from a distance, you're not gonna notice any huge difference. In fact, here is all three. Oh, one thing is I've also used googly eyes. Googly eyes, trust me on this, look almost exactly. In fact, they look exactly the same as these rubber bumpers. I don't like using them because when you move them, they jingle. Hate the jingles. Grab these rubber bumpers. In the end, it'll probably cost you a buck more to do a helmet. Totally worth that dollar. What I'm trying to get at here is, is that you've got my version right there and you've got the rubber domed one. Both of these look pretty good, and any distance further than a couple of feet from it, you're never going to know the difference. So in the end, these ones are a lot more realistic, and if you're doing close-ups and shots of the helmet, I might use something like this. Ease of use is get these guys, because it's just like these little foam ones, is that you peel the thing off the uh, backing sheet, you stick it down, and it's on there. Same thing applies to these little rivets that we've just made. You've got a little backing, pull it off, put it down, and they are both stuck. Unlike these guys, which you have to glue down, and when you glue them down, you use the CA glue, whatever CA glue you use, and I, and I'm pretty sure most of you are the same, is that you use CA glue using on something small, you end up getting stuck to your prop, you have to peel your finger off, and it pulls the rivet, and you get all frustrated. Totally, you don't have to worry about that. So this is boiling down to, as much as I wanna say you can make your own, and you can, and they're a lot more realistic, in the end, do you get a lot of value from them? Not really. So probably not going to do those again. If anything, I'm gonna go for the rubber bumpers. The only difference that I see from more than a foot away from this thing is that this one, the ones that we just punched out with our hole punch, leaves a different shadow. These ones have like a, sort of shadow on this side, these have like a nice sharp shadow on the underside. Depending on the look that you're going for, maybe that is what you wanna do. Whole point of this video is, is just to show you some different options. The cheapest option by far is to use some of your scrap EVA foam, throw in some double-sided tape, get a hole punch, and you're off to the races. If you're like me and you have a laser cutter, you can have a laser cutter go nuts and make yourself a baggie of little rivets that you can use. These little rubber bumpers, these things are great. And if you're concerned about painting them, made this guy recently. 
And you can see with the rivets, I'm not sure if this is actually gonna focus in on there properly. There we go. Well, didn't hold it for very long. Let's bring that further in. There we go. Okay, so you can see with those rivets, they're pretty decent from, from close up, but you really don't need that. What am I gonna use is probably these guys. They look pretty reasonable up close. You don't really notice any difference that much from something like this unless you have a super close in shot and they cast a better shadow than that. But if we're gonna start making a bunch, like say you've got some kids and you're gonna be building a bunch of helmets together, I'm almost going for these because they hardly cost you anything at all and you can build thousands of them. There you go, that is how I do my rivets now and my last rivet video, again, you should be able to see it up here, uh, definitely worth a watch. It is something that you can make some hyper-realistic rivets for any of your armor if that's what you're looking for. But unless you're going for super close up pictures, I don't know if it's worth it. Go for something like one of these guys. Please, if you are in cosplay or you have friends in cosplay that might be interested in something like this, please hit share. It makes a huge difference in my life. And I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.